The episode opens up with a mysterious hooded man overlooking a lake. He has a futuristic weapon slinging on his shoulder, and his face is hidden behind a mask, as he intently tracks the pathway of a drone. He sees it crash in the lake and promptly runs towards it. Meanwhile, we see the drone release mysterious shiny threads inside the lake. Quickly, these threads start to branch out, forming more and more complex networks. Soon enough, the threads form the entire body of our protagonist, Ezra. When he comes to life, the drone starts imprinting memories inside his brain. He meets and marries Lynn, has a daughter, Kylie, and we also get a glimpse of the alien invasion of Earth and how they tried to keep themselves alive. Suddenly, Ezra awakens and, having no idea that he is in a lake, begins to drown. He gathers his wits and swims towards the rocky bank while the drone continues to scan his brain activities. Confused, Ezra tries to run away, but the drone shoots a dart at his neck, evaluating his physiology. The drone then runs the data through its system and verifies Ezra. Meanwhile, he sees the ruins of an alien spaceship and tall buildings among the vast desert and realizes that running is futile. Soon enough, a man and a woman appear from the lake exactly like he did. As he peeps at his reflection in the lake, the man is surprised by how he looks. Meanwhile, the drone continues to hover around the three confused human beings and again shoots a dart at the man's neck. Quickly, it reveals his name to be Abram, and the three humans introduce each other. Fina, the woman, asks how they reached here, but none of them have any recollection of it. When Ezra shows the others the ruins, Fina quickly identifies it as a Karak spaceship, similar to the ones that attacked Earth. While discussing the possibility of what happened here, they realize that all of them have a different timeline for the invasion. To add to the mystery, Abram says he is 67 years old but doesn't look a day above 25. Their conversation is interrupted by the drone who tells them the complete reality. They are currently on Earth, 400 years after the Karak, an alien empire, invaded and completely annihilated the human species from the planet. Everyone they know and love is dead, but their bodies have been reconstituted and genes modified to acclimatize to the present day. Unbeknownst to them, the mysterious hooded stranger is closely spying while they ask the drone further questions. It is revealed that they are brought back to life with the help of the Sparks, biological weavers who intricately build human beings from surrounding elements. Promising to help them bring back the human race, the drone tells them about the settlement where there are other humans that they have reborn. With the possibility of seeing their loved ones again, the three humans pick up their supplies, gather the sparks from the lake in a canister, and start following the drone. Along the way, we get flashbacks from Ezra's life during the invasion. He and his wife fruitlessly try to navigate their way out of Washington as the online navigation system goes down. After buying a map to find a way, Ezra promises his family that he will keep them safe. However, a secret of Fina refuses to share any information about her past life despite Abram's encouragement. In the meantime, they reach a place with huge metal rings protruding from the ground. But they aren't alone. The mysterious robed stranger is right on their tails, loading his weapon. Excited by his reformed young body, Abram runs towards the metal rings, leaving the others behind. Panting, he finds strange symbols carved on the rings and naively touches one of them and immediately gets electrocuted. Thankfully, he is fine and explains that he got vivid images when he touched the symbol. Suddenly, a bullet shoots down the drone, and a dart hits Abram right on the shoulder, dropping him to the ground. It is the mysterious stranger with his pistol who is hunting the three of them. Thanks to Ezra's ingenuous deception, they outsmart and capture the stranger and we are introduced to Jax, a skin rider with a glowing parasite on his neck, which he refers to as a companion. Jax doesn't reveal much information about the symbols on the ring, but clearly states that he wants the sparks. While Ezra is distracted by a symbol on the ring that he has seen before, the stranger manages to kick him down and take the weapon from him. However, Fina points his pistol at him and tells him to drop the weapon down. The stranger scoffs, saying that the weapon is too advanced for her, but to his surprise, Fina loads it with a bullet and points it straight at him. They subdue him, but before they can leave, the skin rider tells Ezra that he can take him to his brother. In a quick flashback scene, we see Ezra picking up Silas, his younger brother, right as the Karak spaceships start attacking the Earth. In the present day, the trio move on towards the settlement, leaving behind Jack's tide. Unbeknownst to them, the skin riders can communicate via the parasites in the back of their necks. Soon enough, three other skin riders find him and cut him loose. In a shocking twist, we see that one of the skin riders is none other than Silas who now knows his brother is alive. Meanwhile, the three humans find shelter in a cave. Later that night Abram starts to burn with high fever due to his wound, and seeing no other option, they drag him to a little puddle and release the sparks. Miraculously, Fina wakes up to a healthy and completely healed Abram the next morning. Fortunately for them, the cave they slept in has a tunnel that cuts through the hills, so their path is shortened. After a brief conversation between Fina and Ezra, where she hints at not always having an honorable past, the trio move ahead towards a jungle. 
Out of the blue, the skin riders manage to track them and are in hot pursuit. Ezra stays back to distract them while the rest run towards the settlement. To his surprise, he is ambushed by Silas who moves forward menacingly with the aim to convert him to a skin rider. At the settlement, Fina and Abram manage to get through a heavily barricaded door, and a drone flies out shooting two skin riders in pursuit. It then goes to Ezra and nicks him out of right under the nose of Silas. Due to the protective barrier around the settlement, the skin riders cannot go near it, and the humans are safe for now. Once safely inside the settlement, they realize that everything is not as perfect as they hoped for. It looks slightly deserted, and Ezra finds a bracelet etched with the same symbol that he noticed in the huge metal ring earlier. From the flashback scene, we see that he, Silas, Lynn and his daughter, Kylie, have reached their parents' house after escaping the Karak spaceships. However, there is nobody to be found in the cabin except a box with a mysterious snail shell looking object inside. Etched on the box is the same symbol on the bracelet and the huge metal ring. The episode ends as the drone shows the humans 134 graves buried inside the settlement's compound. The second episode begins with a flashback scene as the two brothers, Ezra and Silas, watch as Washington burns from the alien attack. When they get back to their cabin, Ezra informs Lynn that he will leave to find his parents. Since the telecommunication is down, Lynn is reluctant to let him go alone, and asks him to take his brother with him. However, Ezra sees Silas as someone who cannot take care of himself, and evidently, this has caused friction between the two brothers. Back in the present day, Ezra begins to knock on the heavy metal door with a metal rod after realizing that there are no living survivors in the settlement. The yellow drone takes them inside the bunkers of the settlement, and reveals that it has been inside the settlement for a year, and arrived just after the previous surviving human settlers died due to an infectious disease. To their dismay, they find out that even they have been infected as Fina begins to bleed from her nose. The only solution is for the Sparks to create a vaccine to build their immune system towards the disease. For this, they will have to venture out to a nearby lake and look out for skin riders, until the vaccines are made. Continually getting weaker by the minute, Fina stays behind and the two men venture out with the yellow drone. In the meantime, outside the settlement, a man named Duncan is being chased by skin riders and is eventually caught. Silas inquires why Duncan's companion doesn't reply to the calls by other skin riders. We see that Duncan's parasite is not glowing and appears to be weak, so they take the deserter back to their camp. However, as the skin riders are returning back to their base, they are alerted about two humans leaving the shield barrier of the settlement and rushing towards north. Silas forces Duncan to lead the chase, a decision that Jax only agrees to reluctantly. Meanwhile, on the way to the lake, the two men ask the yellow drone some questions, trying to figure out who is behind bringing them back. However, the drone declines to answer, showing that there, in fact, is someone mysterious who is controlling the drones as well as the sparks. Then, the drone flies high above to maintain a watch for skin riders, while the human duo move forward. We find out that Ezra was a soldier before the invasion, while Abram was a psychiatric therapist. Finally, they reach the lake and release the sparks into the water to allow them to make the medicines. Back at the settlement, Fina tries to fix the red drone and manages to open it. But, she is also beginning to weaken rapidly as blood drips down from her nose and ears. Unable to concentrate any longer, she lies down on the ground. Shortly after, she wakes up to a blonde woman watching over her. Fina doesn't recognize that she is Lynn, Ezra's wife. However, she soon realizes that the woman is simply a holographic AI projection sent by the red drone to help her. Later, when she is on the verge of passing out because of the fever, the AI projection of Lynn requests the red drone to send a projection of someone close to Fina. In a twist, we see a projection of Duncan extending a helping hand towards her. Meanwhile, at the lake, Ezra reveals that one of the skin riders is Silas, his brother. While he hopes that the sparks can rid his brother of the parasite, Abram emphasizes that Silas is not a human anymore and may not look at Ezra as a brother. Their conversation is interrupted by the yellow drone who warns them of approaching skin riders. It suggests they follow a small scout drone that will take them back to the settlement while it will hide the sparks deep in the water. Soon enough, the two men separate, and Abram leaves with the scout drone while Ezra ambushes Silas from behind. However, he doesn't know that the parasite on the back of a skin rider's neck can communicate with its companions, and is quickly surrounded by Jax and his men, and taken hostage. In the next scene, Ezra wakes up in the skin rider's makeshift camp patrolled by his brother. Listening to Silas talk, it becomes clear that the skin riders are part of a cult-like group who believe that the parasite frees them from the primitive intellect of humankind. In a flashback scene we see Ezra trying to figure out where his parents are when suddenly he sees an alien ship crash nearby. When he approaches it, a pink fume from the ship's debris turns him partially blind. Thankfully for him, Silas finds him leaning against a tree and takes him back to the cabin. Back in the present day, Ezra tries to tell his brother to come with him so that the sparks can heal him, and apologizes for his past behavior. As the parasite slowly falls asleep, the human side of Silas gestures at Ezra to flee. Without further invitation, he runs away and finds Abram and the two of them get back to the lake. After gathering the vaccine, 
extra medicine, and some seaweed for food. They rush back to the settlement. The episode ends as Anfina wakes up in the living quarters inside the settlement, as the vaccine gradually helps her recover from the fever. The third episode opens up with Fina right in the middle of a battlefield, as the Karak battleships indiscriminately target the humans below. Seeing Duncan injured and hiding behind a car, she cries out for help. As the scene quickly shifts back to the settlement, we see that Fina is revisiting the above events in her dreams. Meanwhile, the yellow drone urges Abram to explore the settlement. Soon enough, they stumble upon a door sealed shut with scaffoldings. A bright white light emanates from the door, and the drone encourages Abram to check what's behind it. In a flashback scene, we take a glimpse of Fina's past. Turns out that along with her fiancé and business partner, Gregory Palmer, Fina had scammed thousands of people in an elaborate business scheme. While Gregory fled, she served six years in Seattle prison. Immediately after she is released, she meets FBI Special Agent James Duncan and asks him to help her find Gregory. Unmoved by her effort to correct her mistakes, Duncan flatly refuses. In the present day, Ezra shows Fina the bracelet he found in the courtyard with the same symbol they saw at the rings and tells her that he saw the symbol in his parents' house during the invasion. Suddenly, their conversation is interrupted interrupted by Abram who impatiently asks them to come with him. Next, we see that Abram has actually pulled out all the scaffoldings from the locked door he found earlier. Disregarding Ezra's warnings, he abruptly opens the door, saying he feels like the door must be opened. Inside, they find a huge stone pillar called the Obelisk, which starts communicating with Abram. Meanwhile in the Skin Rider camp, Silas throws the recently captured Duncan in a cell. He informs the deserter that they will heal his companion and bring him under control once more. Later, he forces Duncan to spar with Jax who is the biggest and strongest among the Skin Rider community. To the surprise of everyone watching, Duncan easily overpowers the latter with his faster movements. This is because the presence of the parasite causes delays in the transfer of messages from the brain to the body, and gives an advantage to humans during combat. Silas suggests that the only way to overcome this is through a complex brain surgery for which they need a drone. Back at the settlement, Abram starts getting messages from the obelisk through symbols that appear and disappear on its surface. He reveals that whoever is on the other end of the obelisk wants them to bring a weapon buried east of the settlement in exchange for bringing back more humans from the dead. Initially, Ezra is completely against this contract but relents after Fina tells him that more humans are necessary if they want to survive. Hence, the yellow drone and Ezra, equipped with a bow and arrows, head out to find the weapon. On the way, Ezra expresses his suspicion that the drone purposefully led Abram to the door. In response, the drone gives vague answers, deflecting the questions about whatever forces created it, and the sparks. In a flashback scene, we see that Duncan agrees to help Fina catch Gregory Palmer, and the two start working together. Fina, being an expert on cybersecurity, manages to track him down to Singapore and tips the FBI. In the meantime, the yellow drone leads Ezra to the spot where the weapon is buried. Unbeknownst to both of them, he is being watched by a skin rider scout from afar who alerts the others. While he is digging for the weapon, the drone reveals that underneath is a powerful weapon designed to kill skin riders. Shocked, Ezra says he can't fetch the weapon because it might mean killing his brother, too. But the drone convinces him that the only way to rid the human body of the parasite is by killing both of them. Seeing no other option, Ezra retrieves the weapon. Back at the skin rider camp, Jax, along with a few of his men, leaves to catch Ezra and the drone for their brain experiment. Meanwhile, Silas forces Duncan to drink the spring's infested water, compelling it to heal Duncan's injured companion. In the meantime, at the settlement, Fina has more conversations with Lin's AI hologram and realizes that she is Ezra's wife. While discussing their personal lives, they finally fix the red drone. A little while later, Fina expresses her desire to bring Duncan back, not knowing that he is already a skin rider. Clearly emotional, she wants to apologize for what she did to him. The next scene takes us back to Ezra. Suddenly, the drone blares out a warning that the skin riders are coming, and they run for their lives but are ambushed quickly. Outnumbered, Ezra hands the weapon to the skin riders, who have no idea what it can do. Surely enough, the skin rider who touches it immediately drops dead. Taking advantage of the distraction, Ezra beats the others and manages to flee back to the settlement with a little help from the drone. Inside the settlement, we see that Ezra still doesn't trust the obelisk, while Abram seems to be completely under its spell. In an effort to coerce our hero, the obelisk shows him the AI hologram of his wife and suggests that it could bring her and their daughter back. The third episode ends, and we are brought back to the same flashback scene that opened the episode. Fina is crying out for help as Duncan lies injured. Suddenly, from a blinding light, the red drone descends, darts her on the neck, and scans her brain for all the memories. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on the notification, and leave 1000 likes or 100 comments if you'd like us to continue part 2. Thank you.